Uh, I don't know what you're doing right, right now, but whatever you're doing right now, just, just stop for a second. Just stop what you're doing and listen to this. I told you so. Oh, I told you so. Like that? That's Jared Watson. More than 380,000 people have viewed this video of Jared singing Randy Travis's I Told You So. As a matter of fact, Randy Travis himself has watched that video. How cool is that? I know, so right? Cool. And you know what? Jared is one of ours. Delmarva born in uh, Salisbury and live in Delmarva. And we are beyond excited to introduce you to Jared this afternoon. And you know what? He has quite a fan club in the audience today as yeah, well. That's amazing. <laughs> okay. Can we first just address Randy Travis himself? Randy Travis, listen yeah. to that and yeah. watch that video. Yeah, I, c I couldn't believe it when I saw it because I was something brought me to the website again and I was looking through the comments. And I was like, wait, that girl's last name is Travis. And I read it and read it, and she's like, Randy teared up when he heard it. I'm like, oh my gosh. There oh, there it is. is. Oh. There it is. Yeah, Travis. there it is. <laughs> she said, you covered Randy's song beautifully. Just wanted to let you know Randy teared up when he listened to it this afternoon. Great job. We hope one day soon we can meet you. We would be so honored. That's crazy. Jared, there's some high I, praise right there, buddy. I know, I know. It's to get feedback from the person who, you know, sang the song, it's just... It's incredible. Well, it really it's incredible, the video. Uh, you, you deserve that feedback. No so when did you actually start singing? Ever since I could remember. I went to a party one time when I was like, three. I sang Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer because it was Christmas time. And ever since that, it's just been kept going on from, until now. So. Wow. Jared, I know you feel stuff like this all the time. So can we talk about the elephant in the room? Yes. You're in a wheelchair. Yes. Spinal muscular atrophy. Yeah. Explain to me what that is. It's it's pretty rare. It's kind of like muscular dystrophy. Yeah. Uh, basically, my body doesn't you know give off enough protein for the motor neurons to you know give me strength, so my muscles weaken over time. Okay. So that's what's put me in this chair because gotcha. my legs don't work you know gotcha. as as well as well, they I'll show should. I'll you what your voice sure does. Oh, thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> and and your dad performs with you. Yes. How yeah. special is that? It, it's very special. You know he. I, I did the talent show the year before, uh, you know, the one with the video, and he did it then too. So he, he helps me up there. He makes me feel, you know, comfortable up there when I'm doing it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's, that's terrific. We were talking earlier, actually uh, off camera before we got started here, uh, about you posted this. You posted this video what, like three months? Yeah, ish just ago? about. Yeah. And and after the first day, you said you saw how many views? Uh, on Facebook, it was eleven thousand after the first day. After the first day. Yes. I was, now I, it's over 380,000. Yes. <laughs> I was like, wow, 11,000? Really? <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm like, oh, 380. It's just going up. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. It's awesome. And it has been noticed. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, a friend of my mom's contacted me and was like, hey, I know this, this guy in Nashville, and he, he heard your video and stuff, and he wants maybe for you to come down and, you know, just do a little song for him or in something. In Nashville? In Nashville, yeah. Oh my goodness. I know, I know, so, that's so, crazy. So things are in the works, perhaps? I hope so, I certainly hope so, yeah. yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so not too long ago, you were on Facebook Live mm -hmm. with Lauren Hitch. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. What happened here? What was going on? Uh, she's amazing. She really is. She, <laughs> she comforted me before we went on. She's like, no, it's just you and me talking. Just get, and we'll get through this together. But through this, you found out you've got a rather large fan base. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, people. It's mostly people at my school have been giving me, you know, all sorts of praise. They're like, good job. Keep it up. Keep going. And then there's people from church, and you know, and I was at a restaurant the other day, and this random stranger came up and said, "Hey, aren't you the kid in the video?" I and I was like, "Yeah, I am." Oh my gosh! It's it's been different, but it's it's a good different. It is. And on, and on our end, that Facebook Live was, I think, one of the most watched Facebook really? Live interviews we <laughs> ever had here on WBOC. So well, thank you for awesome. that. Yeah, no, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. <laughs> so your fan base, um, obviously, your mom and dad, your stepfather. Yes. Uh, you, you have a lot of people supporting you in this yeah. endeavor. Yeah, it, all my family have been supporting me since I was young, you know, mm -hmm. and, and it's just been great, you know, to have those people near you that, you know, mean so much to you, come up to you and, you know, comfort you when you're sad or if you don't feel like you're good enough or something right. like that, so. Okay, so before you get the big record deal in Nashville and, and, <laughs> and you, you got to, first off, you got to tell everybody that you started here and then you have to come <laughs> back here to, what do you do when you're not singing? Uh, 
normal normal stuff. TV, yeah. video games. I love baseball. Play outside baseball and you know hang out with my friends from school and stuff like that. You got an O shirt on here. Yeah, yeah. I love the Orioles. Actually, that was when I got to go on the field there. Oh. Really? Yeah. It's, I was sick on my birthday. I was in the hospital, and I was supposed to go to an Orioles game, but I couldn't go because of the I was in the hospital. Mm. So my doctor got me tickets to a game oh. and got somebody to get me on the field there, and I met a couple of the players and stuff like that. Who's your favorite? <laughs> Manny Machado. I knew you were going to say that. I knew he was going to say that. I was going to ask who his favorite doctor is now. But oh, oh, I, I love it. We are, Jose we... Alvarado would be that okay. answer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you're going to be a senior, right? Yes. Yeah. So uh, this is probably one of the best summers you've had in a while. Yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, there's going to be some ups and downs, though, because i got to go get a couple other things done that, mm -hmm. you know. But it'll be fun, you know. I'm ready for everything. Riding on that wave. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Any big plans laid out for the future? Um, well, in August, uh, the Wicomico County Fair contacted me, <gasps> and they wanted me to perform there this summer. Uh, I think it's August 18th. They wanted me to come over there. Uh -huh. So, and uh, Jimmy Charles is going to be there too. He was on American Idol, I think. So, yeah. So I'll be I'll be doing that. Nashville bound. <sighs> <laughs> Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Just remember us back uh, we, here. We knew because him like we said, you are ours. Yes. Yes. I yes. right. you now. Sorry. Yes. All right. Uh, so we are just getting started with you, Jared, because we cannot have you on the show without getting you over on the Mid-South audio stage. So that is next. Awesome.